But <clears throat> we had some big breakthrough in this occult realm that I feel like is so key for the decade ahead because one of the meanings of this decade ahead, which I'm about to show you, is, uh, is we are entering into a supernatural, almost mystical dimension that we have never been into corporately. And we're going to have to come into a place, and I don't mean, I mean, we've always had mystical seasons. We've always had very spiritual seasons. We've always had uh, uh, supernatural seasons, but nothing like the 10 years ahead. And you need to get ready because you're going to be living in a supernatural atmosphere. Now, I'm going to show you why today meetings like this become so important. Now, now let me show you what I hear the Lord saying, and this is one of the few meetings on this journey. When we did the 50-state tour, we always had a night meeting and then a morning meeting. This is one of the few times we've done this on this uh, journey. So I'd have to say California now has had the most meetings concerning it's a time to plow so that says you need to plow more and there's a call on you that is so key for right now now we have entered we are in a new era everybody say a new era now that's not uh, and if you're on the web with us if you're uh, uh, tuning in with us somewhere you're right along with us here even though we will concentrate on California while we're here. Uh, this new era is not just a new year ahead. It's not just a new decade ahead. It is a new historical shift that we are stepped, we have stepped into, but by April it will be manifesting. So it is very important we begin to see it. And one of my favorite scriptures is a king will reign in a new era in righteousness. So what you're going to start seeing is a total upheaval in governments. Now, I believe God always starts with his house first. So there is an incredible upheaval in government that is going on within us. But nation after nation, we are beginning to see that upheaval occur because righteousness is about to enter nations. That becomes important. It is so good to see Wesley and Stacy Campbell here. Let's thank God for them. Fred and Sue Rowe. I, I, I mean, he, here you are up here, and we were just, but we're close to Bakersfield here. So it's great to see. It's so many of you have been plowing a long time, but now you're about to turn everything upside down. That's the way you want to look at it. We've been plowing for a long time, but things are about to turn upside down. All right. Now, with that, here's what the decade ahead looks like. In Hebrew, see, the Lord gave us this covenant in Hebrew. And he gave it to us in Hebrew. He made covenant with Ab Abram, the Hebrew, the one who crosses over. And he gave us this covenant and made covenant with Abraham and shifted us into a time sequence that he determined. And that becomes important for us because uh, he predetermines access, our time, and our place. In other words, if you felt led to come here, the Spirit of God has some way brought you into a moment of time and place. And it says he does that so we can grope for him, find him, and pull him into this atmosphere with us. 
I'd throw my hand up and say, we are ready for you to come. And so he wrote this covenant book around three feast times. Then he added to it each month Rosh Kadesh, which is a first fruit celebration. And from that, he gave us and put within us the ability to cross over, to keep crossing, and to finally get into the promise that he has for us. Now, and so with that, it is important that we see in time now, 80, we have entered into a season 5780 in Hebrew, and uh, 20 has good meaning as we cross over, but 80 has a whole different dimension of prophetic meaning and look at what the letter looks like. Hebrew letters have pictures. There, It's a whole language so you can see what things look like. This looks like us coming around but now there's a new opening for our future. Now pay means let your mouth decree. So in other words, this is the decade of the decree. And that becomes very, very important for us. Now, what it really means, I've tried to summarize it as I've studied all the words through the word of God. Go ahead, Aaron, and let's look at the next one. It means we have entered an era of freedom. Freedom is linked with pay. But in the midst of it, we have to create a new opening for freedom. Now, this becomes very important for California because I believe God pressed us to California because the freedom of our nation is hinging on this particular state. And it means your freedom will become a result of how you speak. So how we speak, especially from California in the future, will create freedom for a whole nation. So you guys are important, very important, not only in what you've been doing, but what you're going to be doing. Because it is also a new era for Holy Spirit. 